Hey everyone, it's Trish with Bird Feed. Welcome back today for some more ideas and inspiration for your Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes. Today I want to share with you another of my favorites. I don't know who I'm kidding. They're all my favorites, you guys. I love every shoe box that I pack because I am so excited for all the children who will receive them. This box was packed for a 10 to 14 year old girl and my inspiration came from a shoebox that Denise from D. Rogers YouTube channel shared last year. It was a cactus theme and I thought how cool is that? That is so unique and I really didn't set out to collect for a cactus box, but starting at the beginning of this year, I just kept running into cactus items left and right, and I thought, you know what? I want to pack a cactus theme box. So thank you, Denise. I decorated the inside of the lid with some clip art, as I usually do, and I added the words, you are loved. And when she opens her box, that's what she'll see. Right on top is the cutest plush ever. And this was recently sent to me from my Amazon wish list by Samantha L. So thank you for this, Samantha. It was what I needed to complete this box. It's the perfect size for a shoe box. It's so soft and cuddly. It's a great size for a 10 to 14 year old. So she can either love and hug on it or she can use it just to decorate her room. I'm going to slip out her notebook if I can get it out of here, which has the front cover decorated with cacti and llamas. And this came from the Dollar Tree recently. And now that I've shown you her notebook, I might as well show you next her pencil pouch. Is that not the cutest thing ever? I found this on Shein.com and it was actually the first cactus item that I purchased. When I saw it, I, I knew I had to do a cactus themed shoe box. Unfortunately, it's no longer available on their site. It was originally $2.50. I paid $1.88 for it after discounts and points, which I did not think was bad at all for a, a pencil pouch as cute as this. I'm not gonna show you everything inside because it's my standard assortment of pencils, pens, erasers, and um, pencil sharpeners, but I do wanna show you the few items that are specific to this cactus themed shoe box. Also on Shein, I bought a four pack of these really cute novelty cactus pens. Um, there were two of the lighter green and two of the darker green. And I just put two out of the four in this shoe box. These were also $2.50 for the four and I paid $1.88 for them. So I think that's like 47 cents each. She has a big, cute, cactus eraser that I recently picked up at the Dollar Tree when they put out their school supplies this year. She's got a green Sharpie marker from Angie, and I picked this one because it reminds me of a cactus. Then her pencil sharpeners are just, you know, standard handheld manual pencil sharpeners, but I chose this pink one in particular, the pink flower, because it's the same flower that's usually on top of a cactus. So that, in addition to many pens and pencils and three colors of pens, cap erasers, and another big eraser, is what she's got in her pencil pouch. She's got a really pretty t-shirt that I recently found at Kohl's and I love the graphic. It's not a, you know, a cartoon cactus graphic, which um, you might expect to see, but it's actually a pretty 
scene. It's like a almost a desert scene. It says nature is magic. So I guess you would call this a little bit more subtle graphic. And I picked it up in an extra large 14, 16 girls size. And I got a great deal on this. I only paid a dollar forty for this. It was regularly priced, I think, fourteen dollars, but it was on sale for seven. And I had just gone to Kohl's to return an Amazon package. They accept Amazon returns. And when you return an Amazon package to Kohl's, they give you a coupon to shop in their store. And the coupon was for $5. And then I had an additional 30% discount coupon on that. So it came to $1.40. Isn't that pretty? I think a young lady will like that. I gave her a cute clutch purse with a wrist strap. This I picked, I picked up a couple of these at Dollar General last year for 45 cents each. They were on deep clearance. And I thought they are perfect for a young girl and to fit in a shoebox. So I grabbed the two that they had. And inside I slipped one of those really pretty mandala compact mirrors from Joan. She's got some really cute jewelry that I tucked into an organza bag. And the jewelry is also from Shein, or most of it a really sweet pair of cactus stud earrings. These were $1.50 on their site and I paid $1.13 after discounts and points. And this dainty necklace, the outline of a cactus with a little rhinestone on a gold chain and that was the same price. I think it was $1.50 and I paid $1.13. Oh, and it looks like I've tied a knot in that. I'll have to get that out shortly. I don't think either of those are available any longer. Um, I know the necklace isn't. There might be one similar and um, the earrings I'll check on. If they're available, I'll link them below. And then, lo and behold, in the assortment of kids' rings sent to me by Stacy Berry, I found a cactus ring. Isn't that cute? Then I've given her a cross in cactus green. These are the Playside Creation crosses from Hobby Lobby. And I added a black satin cord to it. So she can either wear it or hang it in her room. She's got a pretty hairbrush in a nice compact size from the Dollar Tree. This is a really pretty pearl color and multicolored bristles. Kind of reminded me of a cactus. She has a little zippered pouch in this metallic lilac, I guess that is filled with some goodies. Now the pouch and a few of the things inside were sent to me by a viewer friend along with a whole box of other goodies. I tucked inside this cute little, like it's like a velvet pig. This came in an Easter blind bag uh, egg for cents. Uh, back Easter time from Walmart. I slipped in there a lip smacker. This is cotton candy flavored. I also slipped in there uh, some nail clippers because the little case came with some nail accessories in here. A little emery board and a little nail buffer, isn't that cute? <laughs> That's little. Some bobby pins, a little mending kit, and these look like um, the backs, emergency backs to earrings. 
So I'll go ahead and leave those in there as well. Also from the same viewer friend who sent that little zippered pouch, I slipped in there a jackalope and a winged narwhal just for the fun of it because I, think, I thought she needed a few more toys in here in case it goes to a younger girl. I also added one of those click and snap fidget toys, the sensory stress fidget toys. Some, somehow this reminded me of a cactus. So I put that in there as well. I gave her a flying disc in green from Charlotte Arnott from Charlotte Shoebox's YouTube channel. A cactus green high bounce ball from Linda Hitchcock. She's got some silly socks with cactuses on them, and these came from Shein.com. These were a dollar on their site. I paid 76 cents for them, and they are really, really nice quality. I think those will be a lot of fun. And another pair of socks in green in kind of a, I don't know, almost looks like a tie-dye pattern. Oh, she's also got some friendship bracelets that I meant to pull out earlier from Izzy. Uh, she sent uh, these pretty woven friendship bracelets, and I added two of them to this card that I printed out with my using my computer. And it says, no matter where we go, no matter what we do, you'll always be there for me, and I'll always be there for you. It says one for you and one for me. So she can either keep both of them if she wishes or uh, share one with a friend. She's got a pair of sunglasses in a really cute print case, just a little fabric case that I found at the Dollar Tree with cactus, flamingos, cheetah, toucans. It says go wild on it. And inside she's got a pair of Sunglasses, also from the Dollar Tree. They're the Specs brand in just a clear frame and 100% UV protection. I think she'll get a lot of use out of those. I also gave her another pair of glasses just for fun and because I could not help myself. These came from the Dollar Tree as well. But I put little stickers on the back that say, just for fun, no sun protection. Hopefully uh, they can read that or Google translate it. I don't want them to think um, that this would give them protection from the sun. They are just for fun because they are very funny. She's got a set of very pretty reusable menstrual pads with the charcoal liner. There's a set of six in here with a wet bag really pretty and these are the we grow brand from Amazon and the colors kind of coordinate with the graphic in her t-shirt and it does come with instructions but it's all written in English so I included that and I also included some illustrated instructions that I found online and laminated them for this girl now, um, because there are six, they don't all fit into the wet bag, and I was unable to pack it that way, so I left it in the plastic bag for her. I also gave her a couple of pairs of underwear. Those are both girls size 14, I believe. And those little wooden decorative clips with some twine inside so she can have something to hang her pads on to dry after she washes them out, if she wishes to use them that way. I included in the bag another copy of that so she can see that that's what I meant it for, although she can certainly use it to decorate her room if she wishes, wishes to use it for that. I also included for her a bar of laundry soap and with it, I included yet another one of those printouts 
not laminated and the one in the clothespins is not laminated either um, just so she knows that this is laundry soap and not face or body soap i slipped it into a zip zippered bag because uh fells naphtha has kind of a strong scent she has another organza bag filled with hair accessories these organza bags were donated for my shoe boxes by Annabeth. And they are indispensable, as I've said before. Inside, I slipped two peach colored grow grain hair bows that I got on Amazon. And one of them I attached to an orangey colored headband. The headbands are from Joan. In case she doesn't have quite enough hair to clip a bow into. Maybe she can wear it with that headband. And then some butterfly clips from Annabeth. Let's see if we can clip one of these. They're really cute. I gave her a couple of scrunchies, hair scrunchies, and some hair elastics. The hair elastics I also got on Shein. They're real colorful. I like these. And a couple of barrettes. These sparkly lavender snap barrettes are from the same viewer who donated these items over here. And then these other snap barrettes are from Angie. This one has a pretty blue pattern on it. I gave her a green toothbrush with a cap. Even that cap reminds me of a cactus a pair of scissors with a green sparkly handle. Those are Westcott brand. Those came from the Dollar Tree. They're seven inches. I'll put those over with her school supplies. She's got some colorful dice contributed to this box by Joan. I love putting games into 10 to 14 year old shoe boxes, but this was the only game that would fit. And that's when these dice come in so handy because they are little you can even slip them in separately into your box and they're great for numbers games all sorts of games hundreds of games they can play with dice i also slipped in there some color forms clings now normally i think of color forms for a younger child but look at these these are really cute these came from the dollar tree they are four it's four different scenes of girls that can be dressed. It comes with 80 color forms clings so you can dress them and change their outfits. I think that is really cute for this age group and for five to nine. So I think five to 14, this is great for. She's got a journal and of course it's got a cactus on the front. It's kind of a glittery cover. And from what I understand, the girls love receiving journals Inside, I tucked some cactus stickers that she can use in her journal or wherever she'd like. Her coloring book is a wow, I think, in and of itself. Succulents Advanced Coloring. It's a nice thick book and I splurged on this one. It was $3 regular price and that's what I paid for it. This is a sticker covering the $3 embedded price on it, but it just has beautiful, beautiful pictures of succulents inside. I think she'll love it. And then to color in her coloring book, I gave her an assortment of 12 colored pencils that I took out of a box of 24. And because that coloring book has the images printed on only one side of the page uh, intentionally for colored markers. I included this box of 10 markers from Joan Cowan. So that should be fun. She's got pencils and markers. She's got a flexible ruler also for school. I slipped in a prayer card for nothing will be impossible with God. Luke 1, 37. I think that's a good one. 
And the last thing in her shoebox is this backpack that I made her out of this funky cactus print fabric that I got from Walmart on clearance after Christmas. And as you can see, the cactuses are decorated with lights and Santa hats. And this was a fat quarter. The fat quarters aren't quite long enough to make a drawstring backpack. Well, not if it has a uh, directional pattern on it and you have to put the pattern a certain way. So I used a solid green coordinating color for the back that also lengthens the bottom for her. So she can have that either to use for fun or for school or just to store things in. Oh, one last thing. I forgot her stickers. They were hiding in the bottom of the box. These adorable skateboard stickers that are cactuses. I got these on Shein also. I don't. I think these were a dollar fifty for a pack of fifty, and of course I got discounts on it, so I paid less than that. I gave her what? I gave her like six of these, and then I added in an assortment of Hello Kitty stickers. The Hello Kitty stickers are from Joan, and some strawberry stickers. These are all so cute. These skateboard stickers and some butterfly stickers. Very pretty. So she's got some cool stickers to decorate whatever she wishes. And that, my friends, completes the cactus theme box for a 10 to 14 year old girl. I had a blast putting this one together. Thanks again, Denise, for the inspiration. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed putting it together, and I hope the young girl who receives it enjoys it just as much. Thanks so much for watching today. I hope you were inspired. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and let me know what your favorites are, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye now.